All right, so F. so far, I think I'm willing to pledge to this Kickstarter. <laughs> Personally, my own rank is the only letter it's shown us thus far. It will improve <laughs> as more gets shown. I'm sure, yeah. The, the propellers don't seem particularly effective on this helicopter. It can, seems nor, do my, nor do my headphones. <laughs> I've only got sound out of the right side. And it, it's oh, suddenly cool. much... It's also a lot quieter inside the helicopter, which I don't think is quite right, but... It's it's very insulated. It's one of those ones, you got the new style helicopter where the actual stealth is you trying to pretend the outside world does not exist. <laughs> also very saggy propellers that clip into the tail, I'm noticing. <laughs> not to mention that, I know it's just frame rate, but I like to think that this helicopter is just staying aloft by force of will. Those aren't <laughs> actually turning. Oh, flit. Flit. Okay, we're getting... <laughs> we're making getting progress. Closer and closer to the title. <laughs> I'm also wondering why there's just a big piece of metal in the tail rotor like that. I it's, don't quite see how that works. It's... Uh, is that Diamond Dog? Oh, oh my god. I think oh. it is. What? Music. Oh, and it's like that Fallout kind of like old old style music, you know? Was he watching well, YouTube so on his iPad? <laughs> I, I, I think Punish Snake is doing that. Flig. 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 Flig looks like a very good game so far, I so think. So far, Flig has a dog. Whether or not I can pet this dog is going to determine whether or not Flig gets my money. What are these cuts to black? Are we, like, blinking? Or? Grandpa, huh? can you tell me the Stargate story again? Oh my god. Once upon a time, there lived a king named Darius. Is, is his grandfather a robot? What is that? I have to tell you! I need a lozenge. <laughs> ruled the skies. Oh, I'm hoping this filter is over the entire game. <laughs> Machines really ruled the skies because honey ruled the ground. It was actually kind of terrible. <laughs> oh no, the honey's in the skies too. Oh no. <laughs> but this blinking thing is really annoying, actually. This is actually the inside of a retina. Dancers, Whoa. skin cooked by the sun, are beautiful women. Let's not get ahead <laughs> not of ourselves, Grandpa. That's literally one woman. <laughs> There's like an asterisk, like women to be added in DLC. <laughs> the royal guards oh. patrolling nonstop, making sure everything goes as planned. <laughs> yep, this looks right. It's going as planned. This I hallway guess. is perfectly planned. <laughs> Nothing in it. Exactly as planned. Loving the stone tiling. Oh, flight flight zone. zone. Day of construction. Time for the core to be placed. Very slowly placing that core. It's looking good, Grandpa. Whoa, hey, hey! King Darius even erected a rock golem for protection. I... Sure. Why not? Okay. No, yes. yeah, there's a rock golem. We got tons of rock golems. We're lousy with rock golems. We got at least six or seven. <laughs> I, I can't help but wonder how the helicopter fits into this. It's, but. uh... <laughs> I, I actually have no explanation for the helicopter. <laughs> why, why did this start with a minute and a half tracking shot of nothing? Why does this guy keep bringing me a core? Oh, he dropped the orb. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> He then got another orb, because he <laughs> dropped the first one. Then he began hammering the, I don't know how to describe it, scaffolding? <laughs> Flight to far. Your grandfather actually couldn't build ships. They just <laughs> let him play around with it for a while. Imagine a badly animated helicopter now, Billy. <laughs> oh my god. This is really not selling me on the, the music. This... Still, the music's still going, though. It's all right. We still got that real Fallout vibe here in ancient Egypt with our honey retina. That we took <laughs> our attack copter to. Stop oh. blinking. Also, it's flights of fan now. It blinked slower. Okay. It's like it was spiting me. <laughs> I think he's. Get I think the camera's now getting bored of this finished. too. <laughs> I'm for the witch doctor to work his magic. <laughs> oh God, the witch doctor. Here's my spell of two blue bottles. Thank God the ancient Egyptian witch doctors are here to bless our aircraft. Whoa. <laughs> he moved those things all on his own. 
<laughs> Behold the power of Egypt. set in place, the Stargate opens. Oh, the Stargate opens. If only there were a movie what? like that. <laughs> it's a gate to the stars, which we send. <laughs> Actually, we still don't have a plan. Holy shit. What the? <laughs> the temple vanishes. I think Dave just killed the entire facility. Wow, that, that title really undercuts everything else that happened. That title sure took its time is. getting here. That was five and a half minutes. It was behind. <laughs> we got to see the helicopter. We got to see the dog. We got to see the iPad. We got to see <laughs> the golem, I guess. I guess. What is this game even about? So far, we've well, seen a helicopter and a, it's core? And a Stargate. It's got a Stargate. I will I will tell you this, PA. Um, you know, this is not technically a Kickstarter non-starter yet, because as of this recording, they have two weeks to go to make their uh one hundred thousand dollar goal. Completely reasonable. Right. And so far we're at a not a hundred thousand dollars. Well, let's see what I got at my what have I got lying around. I think I got a couple of quarters over here. Oh, hey. Well go for it. Yeah. Flights of fancy, I, you get my seventy five cents. Let's just look at uh, the headline here. It's that FOF is a massive open world. Okay. No, let me rephrase that. Uh, massive open solar system video game. That's fair. Where's the rest oh. of the solar system? <laughs> it's uh, past Egypt, I guess. In fact, for that matter, them. where is a star? We, we <laughs> never actually got away from terrestrial flight. So far, open world <laughs> is more accurate than open solar system. <laughs> I like to let me rephrase that. Like that is what the backspace key is for when you type things in. Like you're not actually in a conversation nope, nope. with us. No, no. This went into the Kickstarter text field. I'm committed now. I'm putting these <laughs> words in there. <laughs> Pledge goals don't seem too crazy. I mean, no matter what, you always get a big heartfelt quote. Thank you. Yeah, you got you got 15 bucks for artwork and a thank you. You got 25 mm -hmm. bucks for artwork, a thank you, and a digital copy of Scene 1 for the Xbox One or PS4. What is what is Scene 1 again? It's a uh, helicopter? Uh, um, I actually don't don't have any I, idea what Scene 1 is. Maybe it's the helicopter. Maybe, digital maybe, copy of it, though. <laughs> you get a digital we, copy of the ocean, the helicopter, <laughs> the dog, and the iPad. It's all yours for a mere $10 more than a regular thank you. And for double that, Explorer's Pack in-game content. Great. How much content? Uh, it's the pack. A pack of it. An Explorer's Pack. A whole pack Explorer's Pack of content. That is value for your 25 bucks. Most people can't get an Explorer's Rucksack for 25 bucks. They're giving you a pack <laughs> with the game. <laughs> That's awesome. And then finally, 75 bucks, you also get an in-game credit. And, and a, a physical big copy of the game. I can prop that up on my shelf. <laughs> Show it off to all my friends. Ships to anywhere in the world. Um, under about this project, I'm noticing, uh, there's a one paragraph summary of it. Um, mm -hmm. And it, I'm just going to read an excerpt here, if you don't mind. Of course. Or would go, you, go you can, if you like, starting with the dear Leonidas. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's start with Leonidas. The okay. story follows the life of Leonidas. While Good. growing up, his grandfather would always tell him a story about his ancestor, King Darius, and his quest to open a Stargate. <laughs> no TM after Stargate, I noticed, but okay. His quest, oh. and how poorly his quest ended, just as a note. <laughs> like, There's but, a space between star and gate, so it's different. Star, gate, of course. Right, yes. <laughs> no trademark, no copyright, we're safe. It's just a yes. large glowing circle that happens to have swirling energies within that allows transport instantaneously around the galaxy. I've never heard of that concept. Exactly. TM. The king achieves what he sets out to do, but it comes with a hefty price. Uh-oh. Dis disintegration, I assume. A time right. traveler group going by the name Crusaders crashes the party. What? There is the temple and everyone in it are now lost in time and space. Okay, I guess we couldn't show that in the original demo video there or anything. This story is actually considerably more... I want to know how the golem fits into this. And the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> the story picks up with Leonidas, now an adult, finds out that his grandfather... Did I misread that? No, no. that's actually what it says. Finds out that his grandfather has left him a pretty amazing inheritance and a letter that reads... And I Period. think this is where you want to take over. 
Period. That reads, Yearly period. End. It's just a letter that has the concept <laughs> of literacy. It talks to you. <laughs> Dear, Dear Leonidas, I hope this letter finds you in good health and the same adventurous heart you had as a kid. On this island, we found a lost period, pyramid with an immense cave system. It is legend to possess the ancient stargate torn apart in pieces throughout the caves. Find and reassemble the star gate, and just maybe you can find out what happened to your ancestors. Love always, Granddad. <laughs> it's, good to, it's good to finish your letters like that. About like, this project, I plan to create a massive open world game. Love your nan. <laughs> <laughs> like at that point, Granddad might as well just get you a Hallmark card. I mean... <laughs> um. Under risks and challenges, too, the porting over to console is my only foreseeable challenge. That's the only a issue. A challenge that they are working out now. The PC <gasps> version is laid down. All two scenes of it. But I will <laughs> not release it for a while after the console release. Just business. That doesn't seem like great business, so but... The, in order of appearance, we have... The PC release, which is currently laid out, but not shown right. in the video, presumably laid. so he can keep his content private. It's laid down, technically, but it's yeah, laid I gotcha. down. Right. Next, he is going to port it to console. His only challenge, as he admits. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Then, he releases the game only for console. Yes. And then later, releases the PC edition, because that is good business. Yes. <laughs> That's that sounds good business to me. <laughs> I I have prepared a television show. What I am planning <laughs> is I'm going to port it to VHS. I have no <laughs> idea how yet, but I'm going to port it to VHS, sell it, and then come back and get my network license TV deal to spread this across the way. It's only good business. Anyway, give me $100,000 and I'll give you a heartfelt thank you. And that's going to be a lot of heartfelt thank yous. At a pledged I... amount of $75 or more, <laughs> it's, he's going to be bit... spending a while just kind of thanking people. It's at least 1333 I believe. But... Also, that mm. thank you will ship to anywhere in the world. Damn. Good man. My grade for this game is still F, to be clear. Okay. <laughs> I have two Fs. F-O-F. Well, he's still got 14 days, so good luck to you, Milky Who knows, Way maybe games. a very philanthropic millionaire is going to come across this and just... Perfect. There you go. And, and, and we'll be the fools playing on our console versions, <laughs> just waiting for that PC version. Sitting thinking, on my PC, just can't wait until Flights of Fancy comes around. Ah. If, if it weren't for fucking good business, we would be set. <laughs> <laughs>